Hey Bulldogs, it's uh, Jeremy Fuel Superintendent here at Clinton Central. Uh, do a little quick walkthrough for you guys on the uh, district high school office. Uh, show you guys where we're at in the uh, progress uh, up to today, which is uh, May 1st, uh, 2023. So I am actually standing outside of the north entrance of the high school. Uh, this would, will be the uh, entrance coming into the district office uh, during normal business hours. So you see we have a framed uh, door to go into the district office. Really the big updates here, a lot of HVAC work is going in, running duct lines, uh, running uh, electrical as well, continuing to button up plumbing also. Uh, this week they were able to get this main header in right here. This uh, previously with what was an existing exterior wall, they had to put a uh, big beam and header in. Uh, this space right here will be divided up between HR and our business office. So as you can see, not a lot of framing has been going on. There's been a lot of mechanical work, plumbing rough ends, HVAC rough ends, electrical rough ends. Um, they are framing wise, structure wise, they are cutting in lentils for the windows throughout the office spaces. So they've got the lentils installed. Uh, they're right, waiting on the uh, window frames to come in and then start to get the uh, windows installed. Uh, but we are making really good progress uh, thus far on the uh, high school office area. So this is all the uh, district office currently. As we step out and go out into the hallway, we have our director of student services office, which is adjacent to the district office, has an adjoining door to the district office, but also has a separate entrance to the high school office or high school hallway. Uh, we have our guidance office entrance from the main hallway. And as you can see, just a lot of HVAC rough in, electrical rough in going in. We have counselor's offices in here, uh, our PR and data personnel office, uh, principal's office here. You can see they got lentil going in for the window cutouts. And they're continuing to work their way down. We have athletic director's office, assistant principal's office, and conference room. And you can see just a lot of mechanical work going on right now. Uh, records room. Uh, IDF closet for electrical as well as technology. staff restrooms here and we're still waiting on a little framing to get done uh, a lot of people don't realize it's something we didn't know and our engineers really didn't haven't seen in other districts is underneath the school there is actually a 36 inch diameter tunnel that is our fresh air supply to all classrooms in the high school so these pipes right here go down to a 36 inch tunnel underneath the school uh, that pro provides fresh air to all the first floor as well as second floor classrooms so these pipes have to be moved over to there so which is a major actual uh, really a major undertaking uh, for our uh, plumbers and hvac personnel so yeah, not a lot of changes layout wise obviously uh, just a lot of mechanical stuff wanted to give you guys a update on it nurse's office here and main entrance of the high school office here. So that is about all we have here in the uh, high school office as far as the building updates go. Um, we will get some information out to you guys, get another video out to show the bus barn. Um, it's a little windy tonight to be able to get out there and let you guys be able to hear. But the bus barn's got a little 10 foot bump out going on it. 
Um, they're getting ready to start on the uh, wrestling room and current weight room to start demoing that area uh, to start working on that. And pretty soon they'll start working on the athletic entrance uh, excavation and foundation work. So a lot of things going on. So uh, hope you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Hope you guys have a great week. Go Bulldogs.